Hey guys, it's me Zayn and today we're gonna talk about a very interesting topic about dormancy, winter rest, what's the difference, what's common in them and this sort of stuff. Oh. Okay, so there is a lot of people actually who don't know what's the difference between a dormancy period and the winter rest period and yeah, I can understand that because I didn't know that it's actually a different thing and they are very very different and should be treated differently. Actually, it's a lot bigger topic. So let's start by understanding the life cycle of the plant and they actually rely on seasonal changes so they can fill up their duties to grow new leaves and stuff so the plant's life cycle is that they have to grow a vegetative growth which means they grow leaves and they grow roots and they grow stems and also they have to produce the non-vegetative growth when they are producing flowers and buds and seeds so they can actually propagate themselves and the plant's full growth cycle has to contain both of these the vegetative growth and the other, how is that called? And understanding these two parts of the growth cycle is very important if we are talking about winter rest and dormancy periods because let's have a look at first at dormancy periods. So let's take a look at the Wikipedia page because you know, internet. So the Wikipedia says that dormancy is a period in an organism's life cycle when growth development and physical activity are temporarily stopped. Okay, the physical activity is only in animals, but the key word is that this is stopped. Temporarily, but this is stopped. So that means I have a example for that. Let's take it out from the pot. I have here a catacidum orchid, which is right now just beginning to wake up and come out from dormancy. But you can see that this is something like a bulb which is underground. And I have a hyacinth for that as well. Hyacinths and, and these other bulb plants are going into full dormancy. Caracidums are also going into full dormancy. So after they grew leaves and they grew new structures for the plant and after there is no more growing season, and winter comes, they enter a full dormancy. Which means that stuff like growing roots and growing leaves and these kind of things are stopped. Even the calcium types actually lose their roots after the dormancy period and this dormancy is an adaptation to environmental changes that come is in the winter because you know in the winter there is actually not that much nutrients and uh, water may be available to the plants in the animal kingdom the heart rate is lower the body temperature is much lower so they can also hibernate or hibernate i don't know how to pronounce that this is the main thing about dormancy because of environment, environmental changes in the winter time, usually, they go into the dormancy period where they actually don't grow and don't do anything at all. They stop like working, let's say. And this period is very important because, for example, the uh, hyacinths, they work like in the spring, they come up with shorter leaves and there is the actual, actual flowering stem and the flowers just come up and they open and it's flowering. After flowering, the flower stem dries up and the leaves start to grow. These leaves are the energy providers for the next dormancy period and for the next season's flowering because these leaves will photosynthesize and the sugars produced by the plant will go into the bulb and the bulb will store them until next spring. But until next spring there is the winter when there is very harsh conditions for the plant so it goes dormant and it's really not growing, not doing anything. For example, hyacinths need that dormancy period for flowering. If there is no dormancy period, they won't flower. So that's why you cannot keep hyacinths, for example, inside when there is always warm and room temperature. They just won't flower and they may, be, they may actually even die without a dormancy period. So this is the main thing about the dormancy period everything stops and that's that. <laughs> and actually the dormancy period is closely related to environmental changes 
because the plants actually can feel what season it is and when they feel it's autumn the temperatures are lowering and there is less hour of light in a day they actually feel that it's autumn and they evolve that way that they know that winter is gonna come they minimize totally their metabolism so they don't have to do anything all through winter and again when they feel that there is more light there are higher temperatures and spring is coming they just start to grow like new shoots like this calisidum here is growing two new things because it feels that it's already spring this will grow as huge as these with huge leaves and there are gonna be like a thousand of new roots in this pot and after the growing season is done this will go into dormancy as well for example at calisidums they flower in autumn there are some which are flowering in the summer or they can uh, flower a lot of times throughout the growing season it differs from plant to plant a lot of dormancy plants actually flower in the springtime after the dormancy is done but what's the difference between the dormancy and the winter rest well let's read about the winter rest on wikipedia so it says that the winter rest is a state of reduced activity on plants and warm-blooded animals living in extra tropical regions of the world during the more hostile environmental conditions of winter in this state they save energy during cold weather why they have limited access to food sources so winter rest is not a state where they completely stop their metabolism or minimize their metabolism it is just a state of reduced activity and this is the case for example with these dendrobiums this is my dendrobium aphilum an orchid which goes into a winter rest period and this is very important for the plant it doesn't stop completely so it is not growing going into a full dormancy period it is just a winter rest because at winter there is still dew coming there is no rain but there is still dew and the oil, and there is still humidity around so the roots actually take up that moisture so it's not a true dormancy it's only a winter rest and this plant actually starts growing these new canes in the springtime and these canes mature in the autumn time and yes there is no new canes growing uh, in the winter rest period but the plant is not in full dormancy it is just a winter rest this one loses some leaves but it's not a rule that it will lose all of the leaves so it is just a winter rest the plant is slowing down but doesn't go into dormancy my other example for that is this succulent here which i just watered so i'm hoping it won't drip on me but this is my echeveria lowii and or lowi i don't know how to pronounce that these kind of succulents also go through a phase of a winter rest but it's not dormancy the leaves stay on the plant the environmental changes will actually tell the plant that it's time for winter and it's time for the winter rest when there is colder temperatures not that much of light and not enough food sources it won't stop completely it just slows it down the plant growth will actually continue and new leaves will appear at the top here is when the full growth cycle comes into the picture they need this winter rest and the temperature and the drop in temperatures to know that it's winter and after that they have to grow again and they know that when the growing season comes again there is a time for them to flower okay maybe not all the plants are flowering right after the winter rest but for example echeverias they need that winter rest for flowering not all of them but you know and this is how the growth cycle is actually complete for example uh, some of you guys are keeping your plants your succulents at tropical areas which is known for not having a winter so there is no possibility for winter rest there so you might grow successfully your plants they will grow and they will be lush and they will be beautiful but they won't experience the winter rest and this is the same case with this dendrobium if i would provide for this dendrobium warm temperatures and long days with a lot of light all year long for like i don't know for like three years this plant would grow new and new canes without winter rest it grows a cane a cane matures does that and it starts to grow a new cane and the new cane will grow it will mature and then it will start to grow a new cane again so the growth cycle for this plant will not be complete and in a lot of cases 
this is the case when you're keeping your dendrobium nobilis on the windowsill when there is not cold enough so it won't flower next year for you and this might be a problem if you want to for one flowers from a dendrobium nobili and that's why keeping dendrobium nobilis in the winter in a colder place with very little water will actually help them to flower but what about other plants which are like growing like nothing happened this oncidium has a growth cycle as well it starts to grow a new shoot like here is a very tiny new growth on this one which actually will be matured and will be this big and when the plant has matured a new growth it will flower and the flower after flowering the flowers will fade the flower stem will actually dry and new growth will appear again and this is a full growth cycle for this plant and this plant doesn't rely on environmental changes for that because it comes from tropical areas when there is constantly high temperatures and good amount of light and good amount of new food and food sources for the plant so it doesn't involve that way that this would need a winter rest or a dormancy period yes it has these kind of bulbs which store energy but not for a winter rest or not for a dormancy period it is just how the plant evolves and this is just growing constantly and this is the case with your Phalaenopsis orchids as well. Phalaenopsis orchids grow well in room temperatures, doesn't go into dormancy nor into a winter rest. Yes, it actually experiences a drop in temperatures when summer is over at our place at least but it doesn't go through a phase of dormancy nor a winter rest. There is no rest period for a Phalaenopsis orchid. It's constantly growing new roots, new leaves or other structures inside the plant and after a time when there, it feels that it's autumn and it should produce a flower spike, it produces a spike, it produces new flowers and after it, it will grow again new leaves and new roots. And this is how is this plant is seasoned but it's not going into a dormancy period. This plant, my own sedium, this plant is not a seasonal grower, it just grows whenever it wants and that's that. But for example, there is an interesting case, the lithops. The lithops are in a winter rest in winter. They are not completely stopped from growing, but in the summer time, in the hottest parts of the summer, when the, wind, when the summer is just very strong and there is very warm weather and things like that, they may go dormant. So the lilops is this little exception. But this is the main idea behind this topic. So there is a difference between the dormancy and between the winter rest. Okay, so this is what I wanted to talk about today. So I think you have an idea about the winter rest and the dormancy period, the difference about them and what's common in them and things like that so i hope you like this video and i hope it was at least useful and if you liked it you know click on the like button leave a comment subscribe to this channel subscribe to my other channel follow me on instagram and see you next time bye guys in animals heart rate stops uh no